on June 8th, how about a rousing chorus of boos for bureaucracy? Soulless, impersonal, inflexible, interested only in checkboxes and flowcharts and formalized lists, blind to the human element. And that's why we're also going to talk today about Herman Hollerith. Or as he's known widely, he? Herman Hollerith. He was an American inventor. And on June 8th of 1888, he filed a patent application for that most deadly and stifling of objects, the punch card. Okay, I know, we live now in the world of digital computers. Young people today haven't seen a punch card. They wouldn't recognize one in the museum. But for hundreds of years, we have lived with this mindset that we ought to quantify everything. I mean, Galileo said that mathematics is the language in which truth is written. And starting with the physical sciences and then moving to the so-called social sciences, there have been endless efforts to quantify, including quantifying human behavior, things like sociology and um, the liberal arts being replaced by the social sciences. But there was a limit to what this mindset could do until there was some way to accumulate and process large quantities of data concerning human beings. And Holworth and his punch card gave companies and governments a far more powerful, far faster, far more accurate way of keeping track of what were thought to be the essential things about people. There's a slogan among some economists, if it matters, measure it. And that is what the punch card let bureaucrats, social workers, academics, and others do with human beings. Now, I'm not knocking ingenuity. Holworth was a very clever chap. His tabulating company eventually amalgamated with others and became, of all things, international business machines. That's right, IBM, the sinister HAL of 2001, speaking of other things that young people haven't seen and wouldn't recognize in a museum. But ingenuity can be used for good purposes or evils. Marshall McLuhan said Satan is a very great electrical engineer. And the fact is that when you deal with an apparently heartless, soulless bureaucracy today, whether it's corporate or governmental, What's happening is that they have all kinds of little checkboxes and bits and pieces of data, and they treat those as the reality. And anything that doesn't fit into that model, they treat as extraneous, a distraction. And of course, that includes such things as love, compassion, hope, the soul. None of this stuff can be quantified. And look, quantification has its place. There are things that it's important to keep track of. For instance, have children been vaccinated? This is an important thing. Have companies met their payroll? There are all kinds of reasons why it's important to have things that the punch card made possible, and after that, of course, the digital computer. But to mistake the abstraction for the reality, to mistake those quantifiable details, those things that can be crammed into a little box, which is, you know, I say checked off or not, but of course, with the punch card, it was either a hole or it was not. It could be read by mechanically or by light. To reduce everything to binary yes, no, and to discard everything that cannot be fit into that model is soul destroying. So yes, Holworth was a very clever chap, and let's hear it for ingenuity. But let us be very wary of reducing human beings to whether there is or is not a hole in a piece of paper, because that does not capture the essence of humanity. And corporate and governmental systems that say it does are stifling, hope destroying, even in the end, soul destroying. And in that sense, June 8th of 1888, when Holworth filed that patent application, was a bleak day for mankind. If you're enjoying these commentaries, despite their sometimes somber tone, please visit my website, that's www.johnrobson.ca, and make a monthly pledge so I can continue my commentaries, my writing, my documentaries, and all the other work that I do. And of course, continue watching and subscribing to The Rebel for the news and commentary that you just won't get anywhere else.